when it comes to talking about money, um, when it comes to talking about assets, you know, our book, Own Your Time and Space, right, says it all. The, the conversation that led to that book was talking about the value of owning your time, but also owning the space around you. Um, that space has kind of evolved, right? So probably time for part two, because now the space can include the metaverse, because that's still space, right? So own your time and space, but time is still the most important part of that. Because when you look at any kind of asset, what we're talking about is time. When someone goes and accumulates money, whether that's working, trading, whatever it is they do, what they're buying, is, what they're getting is time. Money is time, right? So I want to share this website with you guys. It talks about how to store time, right? And let me just share it with you and let you guys tell me what you think about it. So this compares Bitcoin to the dollar and shows um, one day of work traded for money. So if I go back to 2013, right? And I take that dollar and I store it in Bitcoin, right? That one day of work is now worth about 400 days of work. Damn. So, and it kind of breaks down how, you know, the math, the math and all that on here. This website is a uh, storeoftime.com. But let's just say you came across it in 2016. You know, one day of work in U.S. money, if you store it in Bitcoin, is worth 93 days of work. Ooh. If you came across it in 2017, a day of work in the dollar is worth 40, uh, put in Bitcoin is worth 41 days now. Let's say you just got in 2019. Still 11 days of work. Damn. Right? If you just started for, right before the pandemic in 2020, that money in Bitcoin is worth six days of work. So literally, if you take one part of your paycheck every week and put it in Bitcoin, basically you could have stored 365 days worth of your work in what uh 90 days in 90 days you could have basically stored your whole year's paycheck in bitcoin so pastor says money is not time you can get money back and lose it time is going forever that's true but money is energy right and yep. in fact that energy can give you time so because the fact of the matter is we need resources in order to live by having though by having that that value whatever you want to say that value is whether you're storing it in the us dollar or bitcoin whatever you're storing it in yeah. it gives you time freedom um, which is kind of what we're saying. So time is more valuable, obviously, but money will give you that time. But the thing is this though, um, in looking at that, here's what's interesting. When you look at the CPI on um, the consumer price index and they talk about uh, the, the rate of inflation and things like that, they don't include things like housing. It's a lot of things not included in that. And I was looking at some data, uh, about a couple weeks ago and it was talking about the average price. Now, granted, it's higher some places, lower other places. Um, but the average price, right, the mean is about like 25% when it comes to like properties. So imagine wanting to buy a property today and you say, I'm going to hold. And what you find a lot of times is I know people right now who are still holding um, from 2008. I'm going to wait till the market crash again. But by the time the market crashes, you're going to pay so much more for that property because of inflation. But, but getting back to the point, if it's 25% right now, now, I don't think it'll hold up 25% this year, 25% next year, 25 But let's just say it did. That means that, what, in four years, whatever you were going to pay for that property in 2021 is going to cost you double. Right? Now, if you look at Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency that you want to look at that um, is going to opposite of inflation, things actually become cheaper over time. And that's kind of what's illustrated there too. Things literally become cheaper over time because as that stuff that increases in value, the dollar goes down, things become cheaper. So imagine now you putting your savings, and this is not investment advice, but putting your savings into Bitcoin within four to five years, your property will cost less than half of what it costs today. That's kind of what that's showing you. I mean, that's 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 some powerful stuff right there. Yeah. Listen, Jabbar, I'm just showing the data. It's just data. It's not, you know, 